could blame us. There's no wonder why we didn't last. Fell in love, and who could blame us? To let it in, it's no wonder love came to an end, and our feelings just aren't feelings anymore. They're just words that come from whispers from. Good, everybody. It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Chicka, chicka, jazz, jazz. Back again with another one, two, three classic. Yes, indeed. And our feelings from our man, Babyface, man. Oh, my goodness. If y'all don't know, he's one of my favorite songwriter, composers, singers. He's one of my favorite. He's at he's at the top as a producer, songwriter, singer. Him, Brian McKnight, Jam and Lewis, uh, the ones that come to mind immediately as my favorite ones, man, for real. So um, we have his classic in our feelings. I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Joseph Sedillos. Uh, he is a Patreon pledger who pledges twenty dollars um or more monthly and. I forget which month this was for. I just the last tutorial I did was for him. I like, yeah, I be getting behind sometimes. But uh, thank you for being patient, man. And um, we gonna jump right into this. All right. So the introduction is basically mo uh, chords from the verse of the song, but you know there is a little melody that you can add to it. So you have you got. Well, actually, I should go right. And then Okay, so let's take a look at that. You have an E major chord, double E on the left hand, B, E, G sharp on the right hand. Then you want what you want to do is you want to hit G sharp again, A, B. You play those individually, and then what you want to do is jump to this chord. Okay, so what you're doing, you're, you're landing on a B over D sharp chord, uh, but via a D sharp minor seven, if that makes sense. But anyway, let's just spell out the notes. Double D sharp on the left hand. On the right hand, you have D sharp, F sharp, and C sharp. Okay, so you go. And then all you got to do from that C sharp, you just bring your pinky down to B. That's it. And that takes you to your B over D. Okay. And then all you, and then your next step you need to do is you want to take your left hand, take it down to D. And on your right hand, just take your thumb down to D. And play that same melody again. So C sharp and B again. So the first time it's going to be... See what I just did? Look at that again. Okay, and then you're going to go A, G sharp, and then 
you want to play an A over C sharp chord. Double C sharp on the left hand, C sharp, E, A on the right hand. And then you're just going to go ahead on and just jump to the, the last chord of the intro. So this is a B7 uh, sus4. The way I, I write it on the key, sh on the chord sheet, I'm sorry, is I just write an A sus2 over B. It just makes it so much easier for me to remember how, how to play it. All right, so double B on the left hand, and then you have a A, B, and E on the right hand. And if you want to add this F sharp, it's cool. Just to give give it a give an extra note in the chord. Still going to be a B7 sus4. All right, so that introduction. Sorry about that. I'll do it one more time since I messed up. There we go. <laughs> I know I explained it already, so it's all good. So then, okay, after that, uh, we want to play the verse. And the verse actually starts with those same chords. But if you want to play it the way it's in the, on the recording, you have to do different inversions. It's like he has a sound that sounds, um, a keyboard sound that sounds like this. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so um, so if you want to get the sound exactly like the recording, this is the inversions you need to play. So you need to go ahead on and just hit an E major chord. Uh, you can have an E on your left hand if you want to double it up. If you can, that's fine. On your right hand, you have E, G sharp, and B on the right hand and then all you gotta do is just you can just hit this uh c sharp and you can go ahead on and just play the e and g sharp again but just add the okay and if you want you can if you play the e major chord with your thumb your uh what's this your pointing finger whatever index i don't know what it's called and then <laughs> your middle finger hits the b then you can actually hit the whole chord again while you, if you want to, you know, add that C sharp. So you'll go, fell in love, like that. So it's up to you how you want to do that. But the next chord will be, seems so righteous. That's a B over D sharp. Double D sharp on the left hand. D sharp, F sharp, B on the right hand. And then all you gotta do is just stretch that pinky over to that C sharp again. Okay, and then you play all the notes again. And then you're gonna come down to B minor over D. So you got your D on the left hand, then you have D, F sharp, B on the right hand. And then you can kind of hit the A, G sharp by itself. And then you wanna go to uh, a over C sharp chord double C sharp on the left hand C sharp E A on the right hand and you want to kind of and what you want to do is you want to quickly hit G sharp and then hit a, a minor over C so you'll go like that okay so um, let me just bring it over here so you can see it better <laughs> right, double C on the left hand a, C, E on the right hand. Then you want to go down to, I call this an E sus2 chord over B. Yeah, let's just do it that way. Double B on the left hand. E, F sharp, B on the right hand. And then your next chord is going to be, so this is an A sharp minor seven, but I'm not playing the F on purpose. Cause when you add that F to it, it just, uh, 
it's a nice sound, but it just takes away from how he played it on the recording. So I'm actually playing, you know, A sharp minor seven is the same as B flat minor seven, but I'm playing it this way. Double A sharp on the left hand, G sharp, A sharp, C sharp on the right hand. And then I just take my thumb on my right hand and bring it down to F sharp, which gives you an F sharp over A sharp chord. And then you want to hit the same chord we did when we did the intro, that last chord. You have, um, I call it A sus 2 over B. Okay, and I like to play it with an F sharp. So double B on the left hand, F sharp, A, B, E on the right hand. And then you're basically playing almost exactly those same chords again. So let's take a look at it. Bell in love seems so righteous. Couldn't compare love to no one else. When everybody said it wouldn't last, it makes me want. You play them all again. We fell in love. It seems so righteous. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Couldn't compare our love to no one else. When everybody said that it would end, it makes me want. Okay, now this this is where it's different. This is the only time it's different. Love came to an end. Okay, so right here, um, you're going to as before you still going to hit this chord, uh, which is the A sus two over B. It's just that baby face through in this one chord before you hit it. So A minor six, I call it on the chord sheet a F sharp diminish over A. So double A on the left hand, F sharp A. C, love came to an end. And then you just slap that um, chord that we you, you should already know already because we've played it like three times already. That's the uh, A sus 2 over B, okay? And again, like I said, you can add this F sharp if you want. So that's the double B, left hand, F sharp, A, B, E, okay? So love came to an end. Boom. Then this is like a B octave. You hear like the strings and stuff like boom. And then we're going to go to the chorus. And our feelings. Hey. Okay. So now basically the chorus is a lot of the same chords as the verse actually. But we're doing a different inversion because once you get to the chorus, you don't have to play the chord. So down, you know, down here, you can actually play inversions that makes the song a little bit brighten it up a little bit even though you're playing the same chord but anyway and our feelings so when you get to the chorus um e major again uh this time we're playing it the same way we played it in the intro double e on the left hand b e g sharp on the right hand just aren't feelings anymore and you know what at that c sharp yeah let's make it yeah let's do it so instead of just B over D sharp, just add that C sharp too. Yeah, I like that better. Double D sharp on the left hand. B, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp on the right hand. Which is... And now I'm going to make it B minor 7 over D, just so that the chords are different from the verse. But even though we're just adding one note different, but anyway. Double D on the left hand. A, B, D, F sharp on the right hand. From and then you got A over C sharp, double C sharp on the left hand, A C sharp E on the right hand. People we don't know, and that's that chord that we keep playing the A sus over B, double B on your left hand, F sharp A B E, and then you play those chords again and our feelings. Just aren't feelings anymore. And actually, it is different right here. 
So last time we went to B minor over D, but when you're on the chorus the second time around, you want to jump to a We're just words with the ocean. Babyface doing some nice little jazzy chords right there. If you pay attention to the track, you'll see that it's not the exact same chords that he did the first time. So he throws this in. This is a G sharp uh, minor seven flat five. I know on the screen it says G sharp diminished seven, but it's really half diminished. Uh, double G sharp on the left hand. G sharp, B, D, F sharp. Now all you have to do to get to the next chord is pretty simple. Just take your left hand, move it over to double C sharp. On your right hand, only move your pinky off this F sharp to F. And there you go. You have your C sharp seven flat nine. I know it's a long name for a chord, but once you get the first chord, all you got to do is this. That's it. All right. So that's double C sharp on the left hand. G sharp, B, D, F on the right hand. And then you want to go to a F sharp minor seven, double F sharp on the left hand, F sharp, A, C sharp. E on the right hand, and then people who don't know, and then you're going to hit that chord that we've been hitting like a hundred times already, A um, sus2 over B, adding that F sharp, double B on the left hand, F sharp, A, B, E on the right hand. All right, so the chorus end our feelings, let's start feelings anymore. They're just words that come from whispering from people we don't know. And our feelings just aren't feelings anymore. They're just words that turn from ending from people we don't who don't He does that the first time after the first verse and the chorus is done he plays those those four chords so he'll go who don't know so that's an a major chord double a on the left hand a c sharp e on the right hand e over g sharp double g sharp left hand g sharp b e on the right hand F sharp minor seven, double F sharp left hand, F sharp A, C sharp E on the right hand, and then that chord that we always play, that A sus two over B at the F sharp, double B on the left hand, F sharp A, B, E. Who don't know? Then you go back to so here we are no you don't know that part right <laughs> broken hearted but believe it or not there's actually no more chords to show you let me tell you um uh let me explain why okay so he goes back to the verse again so he sings the verse the second time of course he sings this the chorus again now this time after he sings the chorus after the uh the second verse so the second time he sings the chorus he goes straight into the bridge and guess what the chords to the bridge are? The exact same chords I just showed you. If you dun 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 I wanna know. It's the exact same chords I literally just showed you. So when you go to the bridge, play those same chords. So after the second verse has been sung and you uh, sing the chorus, um, you're going to actually go right back to those same chords, A major, double A on the left hand, A, C sharp, E on the right hand, E over G sharp, double G sharp, left hand, G sharp, B, E, right hand. I'm just moving quickly because I literally just spelled them out already. F sharp minor seven, double F sharp, left hand, F sharp, A, C sharp, E, and then our favorite chord, the A sus2 over B with an added F sharp, uh, double B on the left hand, F sharp, A, B, E. You just keep playing that. If you da 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 da
I'm sorry. So you do that. That's one time. One another. This is the second time you play it. You do it again. Da 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 da. And then on the last time, the fourth time, you got your A, E over G. Skip the F sharp minor seven. Skip it and just go straight to the the A sus two added F sharp with over the B. He doesn't play the F sharp minor seven the fourth time. He just and he just slaps it like that. So that's it. So double B left hand, F sharp, A, B, E on the right hand. And then you just start playing the chorus until the song is over. You got us in. And your last chord to the song will just end the song on the E major chord. But that's it. That gets you through the song. So hopefully that helps you out. And I would definitely catch y'all on the next one. Peace.